Welcome everyone to Marvel Hub, this is DK Dynamite, and today we're going to be talking about the new trailer for Spider-Man Far From Home, the possibility of an Iron Man cameo, and what it means for Peter to become the next Iron Man. So, the new trailer was absolutely epic, and definitely contained a lot of new footage, and some massive spoilers for Avengers Endgame, but in terms of what the trailer means by Peter becoming the next Iron Man, I want to let you guys know that it's such a symbolic message that is building upon and reflecting the interactions between Tony and Peter in Civil War, Spider-Man Homecoming, and even Avengers Infinity War because it doesn't mean that Peter's going to literally become the next Iron Man by wearing the suit, being rich, having the gadgets. That's not what Spider-Man's all about. The meaning behind that is a couple of things now. Peter becoming the best version of himself. It's reflecting on Tony's message to him when he told him that if you're nothing without the suit, you shouldn't have it. It's sort of even reflecting Tony's character arc and how he was one person at one specific point in time and then became a completely different person and a hero later on in that point in time many many years ago in 2008 so it's Peter just becoming the best possible hero that Tony knows he could be and it's sort of being the symbol of heroes in the universe that he lives in since Iron Man was essentially that symbol for many many years but now that he's passed away he does want Peter to take over that mantle so as Happy Hogan also told Peter in that trailer Tony wouldn't have done what he did if he didn't know that Peter would become the hero that he knows he could be. So he sees a lot in Peter, he's a lot in himself in Peter, but he knows that Peter could do better. And he knows Peter is living under different circumstances and better circumstances that, that Tony did, excuse me, back when Tony became Iron Man in 2008. So it's really just a symbolic message that reflects everything we know about who Peter is, that reflects everything we know about what Tony told Peter when he first recruited him in Civil War. So Peter has already grown as a character as it is, started off by being this, you know, sort of arrogant little teenager that wants to be an Avenger, that wants to impress Mr. Stark, and then by the end of Spider-Man Homecoming, he sort of realizes that he has to be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man and sort of stay close to the ground, but obviously in Infinity War and Endgame, Peter was of course recruited out of an emergency to help the Avengers in space, but so much happened so fast. At first, he's going on a field trip, and then he kind of goes back to New York, helps Tony, he goes into space, you know, he gets dusted, comes back, witnesses his mentor, Tony, passing away and sacrificing himself and then he's back on earth and is supposed to just live with it and the fact that five years is now gone but he hasn't aged is also a weird element of his life going forward but I think there will definitely be a small element maybe in the first act of Spider-Man Far From Home where Peter does want a slight break from being Spider-Man just for the sake of going on a vacation to spend time with his friends spend time with MJ sort of figure himself out a little bit to cope with what is actually has happened in his life so there's a lot going on in Peter's world right now but I think in terms of filling Tony's shoes. It's just going to be him being a massive hero that's widely known, a hero that is the best possible version of what a hero is, and is just growing and growing, you know, inspiring others and being the exact hero that Tony told them that he could be. So also in regards to a possible cameo from Iron Man, people are skeptical about this, but I think at most in the trailer when Peter wears Tony's glasses, that could easily be an opportunity for a barf simulation. It could be an opportunity for a small message or hologram that Tony may have left behind for Peter and may have recorded before the events of Avengers Endgame. So it's definitely a big possibility. There are no rumors right now that Robert Downey Jr. was on set or recorded anything, but he could have easily recorded something while they were filming Avengers Endgame and they could have used the footage now. That's been done before. As we all know, the scene where Cap is talking to the old version of Peggy as she's passing away or as she has Alzheimer's, I should say, that was actually filmed for Avengers 1 but wasn't used until Captain America the Winter Soldier so it's not unlikely for them to film footage for a certain Marvel movie and then to not use it until a future Marvel movie so they could have easily shot that during the events of Avengers Endgame, but I think it's a big possibility that maybe when Peter's at an all-time low or when he needs some advice or when he's feeling really depressed or something in the movie, he kind of puts on those glasses somehow. I don't know where he gets them from. Maybe from Happy. Maybe Happy tells him, hey, you have a message from Stark that I wanted you to actually see it when time was right. He gives the glasses to Peter. You know, he turns them on. You have Friday in the glasses that portrays a message from Tony or something that kind of builds his confidence back up, sort of gives him some words 
of inspiration. It's obviously going to be an emotional movie overall for those who are big fans of Tony. Spider-Man Far From Home is going to be a very emotional film overall, looking at, you know, the impact the Avengers Endgame had. So that's going to be emotional. I think it'll be another emotional scene if Tony does have a small appearance as he talks to Peter for the last time. But that's about it. Let me know what you think of this down below in the comments section. This has been DK Dynamite. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn notifications on to stay up to date with the latest and greatest Marvel news and information. And peace out, everyone.